Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over the Juggernaut in Labyrinth of Legends, and what makes them so difficult. And this was my last path of Labyrinth, um, was versing this Juggernaut, and I wanted to bring Captain America: Infinity War to try it out before I use Aegon, because I know Aegon can do this fight. And honestly, like Captain America: Infinity War can 100% this fight, just because of how strong his block proficiency is. So the way Captain America works, in case you don't know, if you have a uh, kinetic potential, I think they're called, you can um, just hit through unblockable. Like if you're like a normal Juggernaut and you unblockable, you can just punch straight through it, and his unblockable just go away and you hit him. But then with this node, what makes this Juggernaut hard is whenever he gets an unstoppable, he will also um, gain a passive unstoppable, which Captain America can't just get, um, hit away normally. But um, the only way to get rid of it is by using a heavy attack, and Captain America. Infinity War, you just kind of try to keep pushing Juggernaut. The way I found this fight was you just keep pushing Juggernaut to his special two, because his special two you can heavy counter. I think you might be able to do in a special one also, but this was my first and like only time really trying this. I might go back in Labyrinth one day to try it again, but I don't know. But I do think, and then if he is using a special one, if he pops a special one, okay, and then you need and you ran out of pairs or whatever, you can just hold block and then heavy counter him. Because Captain America's block proficiency is so strong. But I do believe wholeheartedly that you can 100% this fight with Captain America Infinity War. I mean, it's obviously easier options like She-Hulk, um, Spider-Man, Stella Suit, Aegon. But I just wanted to try this just for fun. And yeah, he, I think he has what it takes. Especially a 6-star rank 3, I would say. Five, five, a max that 5 stars like really close. So I'm running suicides, but I think you can still do it. But a 6 to rank 3, 6 to rank 4 in the future, you can easily one-shot this fight. So, yeah. Um, I keep doing this fight. Um, right now, I'm at like 90 sign. And I think I cut the video um, at, at like the 100 hit mark when I get the special 3 off. But I, cause I stopped my recording because I knew this would be a long fight. So I stopped the recording. But you don't see it in this video, but I do get him down 25%. I died because it sounded stupid. I forgot what it even was, but I think I like mistimed a special two heavy counter and I just got clipped. I think that happened like once or twice and yeah, I got clipped, but Jugger, um, Captain America can do this fight, which is cool. Um, right now we're just, we ran into parries as you're gonna see. And you're gonna see that a lot more with Aegon. I was just waiting. I was trying to push him as much as I could to the special two. Because the special two is way easier to counter. Look, he throws, he's gonna throw a special two. He's gonna throw a special. He's gonna throw a special two, and then you can easily counter it. So yeah, Captain America is definitely a beast for this fight. I think I got your special three here, and then cut the. The what did I do? I mean, yeah, just heavy counter. His block proficiency makes it so easy to do that. But yeah, I, I think I push him over here, and then use a special three. But now we're gonna see the Aegon fight. So right now you can see I got that percentage down was done by Captain America. Now I'm on Aegon. This is my first try with Aegon. I, I'm not really used to this fight with Aegon. So this isn't my first clip. I think I... Actually, I might have survived a pretty long time, actually. But this is going to show you, like, how... Um, champ... How you can heavy kind of with Aegon. It, it's, um, it's a weird fight, only because with the um, Nick Fury charges, I have the three evade charges. So when... Um, what's it called? So when I have the three evade charges, when I try to do the heavy counter at first, I forgot I had them. And I think I just evaded the way. But I think right here, I think I might do something stupid. No, I didn't. Okay. So what you want to do with Aegon is just keep pushing him to his special three. Or, or no, you pu push yourself to special three. Which with Aegon, well, you have such a long stun. You just heavy counter him like that. And if you don't have a special three, you might just... You're just gonna do the technique with Aegon that you might know, which you charge up the heavy attack, get the combo shield and the um, what's it called, and the unblockable um, or unstoppable, and then he hits you and you get all this furies and you heavy counter him, but you take damage during that, and I didn't have much health to work with going in this fight, so what do I do? I'm trying to see like I I recorded this a while ago because I already uploaded my labyrinth video. When you see this, uh, already be uploaded, but right now I got all the furies. Doing mega damage, like just look at that 23k. Aegon is such a such a god for Labyrinth. I did all, I did the uh, I did the first um, what's it called? I did the first seven. I did the first path like right when Labyrinth came out with Star Lord, 
It took like 3,300 sign units and what was it? And then with Aegon, and that was the easy path for Star Lord. And then with Aegon, for I think all the other six paths combined, it was only like a thousand units, not even, probably less than that. For it was literally six hard paths against big opponents like Juggernaut, Electro. Um, who else was annoying? Ant Man. I hated the Ant Man fight, by the way. Like, right now, like, I did 100% Labyrinth. I can definitely say with confidence that the hardest fights for me. Let me just open them because I have a Google Doc to show like the entire map, so I'm just gonna look over it. The hardest fights in Labyrinth, in my opinion, were the uh, what's it called Black Panther or wait, Agent Venom. That's what it's called, Agent Venom. He was not that bad, but he was pretty. He was pretty difficult. I hated the uh, I hated the Black Widow fight only because I do it three times, and I um with the Black Widow fight, it's um every time she uses a special attack, she has like a shield. And if you hit her when she has a shield, if you get, like, a stun, and you'll just die. So, I just hated playing passively, but that wasn't a hard fight. But I'd say, like, the hardest fights, because I had something stupid with them, was Magneto. Only because his specials are Magneto specials. They're special, too. I mean, I feel like everyone's made a mistake on that special, too, once in a while. And we got... You know, it was Doctor Strange for all. Doctor Strange was hard. But I think on my last run of the Juggernaut run, I one-shot Doctor Strange. I, I, like, mastered how to dodge a special, too. That's pretty hard. But he wasn't that bad but it only took me one or two revives except for the last path i hated the um what was it the what's it i hated um electro electro this dude he was not fair because basically how it was is if you crit with aegon you get and you crit most time with aegon if you crit with aegon you don't get like the damage back but if you because um at a 500 hit combo it's like if you crit the next hit won't be anything bad so basically, with Aegon, when you first select show, if you don't crit, the next crit you do, which was only like 10,000 damage because it's a science champion, then you take the damage back. So you take a crap ton of damage back. So in that fight, I didn't like it because there's too much RNG. Like, it's hard to one-shot, even at full HP, because RNG could screw you. And I got really bad luck with my crits at one point, and I just took too much damage and dodge. I hated that fight. Another fight I genuinely hated with a passion was Ant-Man. Ant-Man was terrible. When you fi finish the first clock... Because Ant-Man is not hard, but when you finish, like, the first Enrage timer, the second Enrage timer, makes it so you literally can never crit. So I was doing, like, 700, 600, maybe, like, 500. I really don't remember the damage. I was doing no crits, and literally, I just killed myself. I was like, this is too bad. Like, like when you when you use this first form, you just don't get crits once in a while. It's really annoying. Like, half your hits will crit. After the first Enrage timer, you don't crit at all, and it's just painful. It's, like, one of the worst fights. I genuinely hated that fight. And then X-23 with Aegon. I think... If I just threw more special twos and had full boost on, I think I could do it. But, like, I got it on to, like, 5%, and then the enrage timer kicked in, and then she was getting regen, like, every hit, and I don't think I could outdamage it. But if I was spamming special twos and not building up special twos, I think I could. you could one-shot that fight. So, yeah. We just died with Aegon, though. We did a really good try. And then this is our next... Um, so, we used Captain America once, Aegon once, and then this is our third try. So, we only used, really, one revive for this fight. Uh, I messed up the special two dodge, which is kind of sad. I'm trying to think. Any of their fights that were really bad that I hated? Mm. They were all relatively easy, honestly. Um, Agent Venom wasn't even that bad, to be honest. Colossus. Actually, um, Cyclops Blue Team. He was annoying because you just spam dodging his special one. And you make one mistake, you just die. But he wasn't that bad. I hated... Um, what did I hate? I just genuinely hated fights that were tanky because it took a while. I like the Thor fight where you have to um, use heavy attacks to clear off the buff. But he was pretty fun. But now we uh, but allow us to look back at this gameplay. So this is the last try with Aegon. This fight is quote-unquote to most people the hardest fight in Labyrinth Juggernaut. But honestly with Aegon, like he just makes... I didn't think Juggernaut was the hardest fight. I think you can genuinely, if I was full HP, could one-shot him. You can't one-shot Electro, really, because if you have bad luck. Like, I like this fight because you could use skill to outdo it. With Electro, you just... And then Ant-Man, you just do no damage. I genuinely hate it. I think the Ant-Man fight might be my least favorite fight in the entire one. After that, Enrage Timer ended is so stupid. Maybe if I... I didn't boost at all during this run, because I don't think I, um... I really just didn't want to, honestly. I forgot... What the reason was? I think I go for an intercept right here. Wait, do I? If I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I go for an intercept special three. That was really nice. But so I got my special three. 
this is unstoppable. We're going to get the stun. We're going to heavy attack him. And I think this is where we finish the fight, if I remember correctly. I literally haven't seen this gameplay in, like, a week. Because um, I did it, like, on my car ride to the cabin for Christmas break. But, um, yeah, I used the heavy attack last second to clear him. He uses... Does he use special too? No, he uses... Wait, am I going to push him here? Oh, I think... Yeah, I go for the push. And special one... Oh, just enough damage. That was so slick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.